Father, thank you this morning for your mercy. Glory be to your heavenly name. In Jesus' name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome back to Short Time Prayer. Today, uh, yesterday you can notice that uh, I did not send out any short uh, prayer yesterday. Yesterday I was praying, asking the Lord, what can I do more just not uh, sending the short time, uh, short prayer. So well, how can I, how do I make this to really drive home uh, for his people? Now he told me to use, the Lord put in my mind, my spirit to use the stories in the Bible to be able to um, pray. Just every little thing that happens today, most of them, if not all, have already happened during the Bible time in Jesus' name. So today, we'll be praying for inner peace. Uh, a whole lot of us have been going through different, several type of problems, but today, we're going to be looking at the inner peace, God giving you inner peace in the financial area because money answered um, all problems. We know that by the grace of God, there is other in, uh, area like sickness, like any kind of trouble that hits, you know, family problem with the kids, with the wife, at the job. But today, the Lord said I should start with our financial uh, situation. So we're going to be praying for God to give you inner peace in your finances in Jesus' name. Our Bible verse today will be the book of uh, in the book of John 14, 27. And I read, it said, Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. In Jesus' name. The Lord said, my peace I give to you. For us to be able to do this prayer today, let us just go to the story that happens in the book of, uh, in the book of Luke 5, 1 to 6. It happens at the lake of uh, Gennesaret, and Jesus Christ was doing his thing, preaching, and uh, here he comes. There was a lot of crowd around him. He needed a platform where to stay to minister the word so people will not, you know, come too close. And he got to the lake. There were two boats there. Mm. There were two boats at the lake, but Jesus entered Simon's boat. <laughs> I want to pray today that God will locate you when even in the midst of the crowd, God himself will locate you. God, the Lord Jesus went into Simon's boat and after preaching to the people, he caused Simon. Why he was why he entered Simon's boat, Simon already finished fishing for the day. He did not catch any fish. No fish. The guy is tired. There ain't no peace. He's worried about going home. There may be there, probably there's no food at home, but he's getting the nets ready, just ready to fish again tomorrow. But Jesus entered his boat. Jesus used his boat to do his ministry. And Jesus said to uh, Peter, he said, put into the deep and let down your net for a catch. <laughs> Peter said, oh, God, like Nigeria, we will say, oh, God, we have fished all night. There was nothing. But because you say so, <laughs> I'm going to go and let down the fish, and let down the net and see what's going to happen. So Peter did exactly what Jesus did, said to him, and Peter caught. The Bible said he caught so much fish that the nets start breaking. Now I'm about to pray. I pray that today in the name of Lord Jesus that you in the powerful name of Jesus will do something for the Lord. When you go to church on Sunday, do you just go to church and sit down? Are you among those ushers? Are you among those that clean the church? And what do you do for the Lord that you can use to get back from the Lord? Because the Bible said give it shall be given unto you. Peter gave his boat. When Peter gave his boat for Jesus to do his ministry, just as the word of God said, let your body to be an instrument of righteousness. When Peter gave his boat to Jesus, after Jesus finished using the boat, Jesus had to bless Peter. The same water 
where Peter was not able to catch any fish. The Bible said the, the nets caught so much fish that it started to break. So my prayer for you today that God will give you inner peace as you also give something to the Lord. You can give yourself to the Lord. You can give your money by giving to the needy or to your local churches. You have to give something to the Lord and expect a supernatural peace from the Lord. Are you ready to pray? I'm already praying as you, as you can see. Father, I thank you for your children. Father, I have used your story to tell them that they need to do something for the Lord. And that God, in his image, will bless them back. Father, I want to thank you for the word tonight. I want to thank you because you have answered their prayer. I want to thank you because you are a perfect God. Glory be to your heavenly name. In Jesus' name, I pray today that God will give you inner peace. The peace of the Lord will continue to be with you. But do me a favor. Do something for the Lord, all right? Do something in your local churches, to your neighbors. Do something and tell the Lord, this is one good thing I'm doing. Please help me in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless you.